Welcome to Small Arm Solutions. I've been asked by several people uh, recently, uh, you know, with all the guns that you look at and all the ones you test and everything, what would be your bug out gun? What would be your, what is your gun of choice if, uh, you know, zombie apocalypse or whatever happened? Well, I think some, I think many of you are going to be very underwhelmed uh, at my go-to gun. Uh, so we're going to take a quick look at my uh, bug out gun. Now, the rifle that I chose is my, uh, my go-to gun. Uh, believe it or not, is very much a stock rifle. Uh, it's an LMT uh, Defender. Um, it's got some some modifications that I've done to it uh, to make it what I want. Uh, the first thing we'll take a look at is going from the from the stock forward. Uh, we have the standard uh, LMT Sop Mod stock. Um, it's the most comfortable stock that I really have, can, have found out there. And also this is whisker friendly. Uh, my beer doesn't get caught uh, on this one at all. Of course we have the LMT receiver extension that has the uh, the dry, uh, the dry fill lubricant on it that keeps the uh, stock from making a lot of noise and rattling. Uh, the pistol grip, as you've seen on many of my other uh, builds, is the bag pull niad. Again, when you have uh, hands the size of mine, this just fits it really like a glove. Um, I did add a ambidextrous safety to it. Uh, this is uh, it's got a shorter arm on the on the uh, right and uh, the longer arm on the left. Um, the lower receiver, uh, I have a. a Actually, it's a custom um, Magpul trigger guard, but it actually has a saying on the, on the, on the bottom. It says, uh, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. And a picture of the Grim Reaper with the uh, with his sickle. So I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, looking on the opposite side, uh, again, typical safety, typical bolt catch. I did add the uh, ambidextrous magazine release. I actually will uh, reload like this on occasion, where I could put it in and drop the magazine out. So I will actually use that. So looking at uh, the, the front part here, um, I chose the uh, Centurion Arm C4 rail. Uh, I really, really like the C4 rails. Um, it's an excellent rail. It's free floated. Uh, it mounts right to the barrel nut. Um, it's uh, it's excellent. This one actually has the uh, extended rails that actually goes uh, beyond the uh, the front sight base and of course I have uh, the Mansa grip panels on here you can actually see this is a, a regular old uh, Knight's Armament broom handle you can see there's an insight uh, flashlight there's also a mana grip that goes around the uh, the broom handle uh, vertical pistol grip and slid into there is the actual pressure pad for the flashlight so all I gotta do is hit the button I got an LED flashlight um, also, you'll see uh, Manta rail protectors also that go all the way around the uh, the rails. It protects the rails from being damaged. Uh, these are actually some special ones that were made uh, with LMT's name on them. So you'll see on the uh, the left side again, we have just a, a long uh, panel. And um, you see there's a QD point here. And there's one that's uh, <coughs> a regular sling swivel that's uh, bolted to the front here. Now the barrel actually is a uh, LMT. It's a, a chrome aluminum and particle proof tested barrel. Uh, it's a 16 inch carbine length. And I actually had the LMT uh, install the arms folding front sight base for me. This is one of my favorite uh, gadgets that, that, are, that are out there. I, I put these on many of my guns. Um, basically you push downward and flip in. One finger lifts up. You have the traditional uh, you know, traditional shape of the uh, standard M16 front sight, po front sight post, front sight base. This is actually drilled and pinned in place. This is not screwed on. Um, the only thing that I would have done differently on this gun than it is right now, uh, but it wasn't an option, is to have a mid-length gas system on it. Um, LMT currently does not offer a mid-length gas system uh, in the standard uh, upper receivers. They do for their MRP, uh, but this is the standard, guard, or the standard defender uh, upper receiver. So it's a standard carbine with the M4 type uh, contour barrel. Uh, the flash suppressor on here is actually uh, for, for my Saker um, Silencer Co Suppressor, uh, which has been used uh, several times on this gun. It works very, very well. You'll see on the rear uh, the ARMS 40L folding backup sight. The charging handle that's on this one is actually a PRI gas buster. Uh, again, because I am using the, uh, the, the suppressor on it, this certainly does help divert a lot of gas from uh, your face. Uh, I definitely noticed there's a big difference. You also see there's a rather large uh, 
uh, latch on here as well, which makes it very easy for one with one hand is to um, standard forward assist. Now the optic that was chosen is the uh, U.S. Marine Corps uh, uh, Trichicon ACOG or uh, Advanced Combat uh, Optical Gun Sight. Uh, this is the uh, RCO-ARD. Um, it is powered by uh, both a fiber optic uh, as well as a tritium lamp. Uh, this also has the, the flash covers and there's also the, uh, the honeycomb in the front of here too, which prevents uh, you know any glare from the uh, optic giving you your position away. Uh, this, this, this scope itself I think is probably the best combat scope in existence. This is, this is pretty up there with the, with the Elkan. I definitely consider those two, these two on sort of a, of a level playing field. Um, the one area where the, uh, the ACOG goes a little bit above and beyond, like what the Elkan does, is the use of the fiber optic. Now you'll see what a lot of soldiers will do is because uh, the way this brings in the light, sometimes it will make the, uh, the, the, the reticle overpoweringly bright. So you actually will see soldiers will use some duct tape and they'll cover up some of this. Uh, so it actually dims it down a little bit. Uh, the tritium lamp, um, again, half, uh, it's got a half-life of five years. Um, they can replace those tritium lamps if you send them back in a Trigicon. Um, this uh, this actual, actual optic is manufactured from a, um, a forging of 7075T6 aircraft grade aluminum, which is the exact same as the upper and lower receivers. Um, it is an excellent compact uh, tested scope. <coughs> Taking a look in the inside, um, this is using a standard H buffer due to the fact that I'm just using a 16 inch M4 contoured barrel. Uh, there's absolutely no need for anything heavier than an H. Uh, for this one you could probably even get away with going with a standard uh, uh, 3 uh, steel weight uh, standard carbine buffer. The trigger, believe it or not, is just standard mil spec. Uh, this is, there's nothing special about it. It's really plain Jane. Um, works 100 percent of the time uh, one of the neater things that i did do is uh i believe the finest bolt carrier group in the industry uh, the best one that's out there is manufactured by lewis machining tool and it is their enhanced bolt carrier group so this is sort of a customized bolt carrier group this particular one uh, i had chrome plated because i am a big fan of chrome i think it's the best finish out there so i have a chrome plated enhanced bolt carrier Again, the enhanced bolt carrier, what it does is it uh, has an altered cam track. And what that cam track does is it allows for uh, slightly longer dwell time uh, that helps the, uh, the cartridge case contract uh, more of the residual pressure so it's more easy to remove, uh, to extract, than to eject. Also, the way the, uh, the gas is introduced into the uh, carrier itself, instead of it going directly uh, down, it, uh, it actually it goes off to the left and to the right on an angle, uh, fills up more evenly. And then the bolt itself is the LMT Enhanced Bolt. Uh, you might be able to read the MP. Um, it's Magnetic Particle and Proof Tested with a 70,000 PSI proof cartridge. And then Magnetic Particle Inspected to ensure that uh, there's no stress fractures. Uh, you can also notice that you have the uh, stress relief locking lugs on here as well. You uh, may be able to see here also that you have a fully supported cartridge base. And this also has the Lobster Tail Extractor, which has the, uh, the dual extractor springs. Uh, which makes for a much more uh, long-lasting and more durable. Uh, the actual bolt has a proprietary nickel-type finish on it, and the material of the bolt is much harder also. Uh, it's a much stronger material. That's why it's more expensive to, uh, to purchase is due to the fact that the material is, uh, costs more, and also it, it wears the machines out a lot quicker too. Uh, you see some grooves in here also for, uh, to let you know, crud get through. You notice there's three holes instead of two, and you also have a weep hole right here. And the, uh, this gas vent here is moved forward compared to, when, to the standard bolt carrier groups. This allows more gas to vent outside of the rifle than uh, actually venting inside the rifle uh, when the bolt starts to, on its rearward movement. Um, again, this is probably the only thing that's really different or exciting about uh, the way this thing is, is set up. And uh, the reason why I went with this is it is completely simple. It is completely, utterly reliable. I have personally tested this rifle in every environmental condition. It has gone from uh, you know negative 20, uh, you know way up to 100, 105. It's gone through a heavy humidity. It's gone through dry climates. It's gone through temperate. It's been in the rain. Uh, this rifle has literally been in any kind of a condition that you could possibly imagine, and it works 100%. Um, the optic is uh, is zeroed for the 77 grain Black Hills Mark 262 ammunition, uh, which is the ammunition that this thing is fed. Uh, so the optic is 0 and 4, uh, and 
that's the only ammunition I put through it. Um, extremely accurate, uh, longer range. You know, longer range. I've shot this thing off to uh, 300 yards. Uh, you know, it works awesome. It's lighter than a lot of the you know the rifles you see me uh, building on my boutique black rifles. It's just something that uh, you know, down to the basics, uh, simple. Now that's not saying I don't have other guns that you know I would trust just as much. Um, sometimes uh, simpler can be can be a lot better. There's nothing on here that's not necessary. Um, you do have the backup sights in case uh, the optic was to go down. Uh, for as far as uh, you know, cleaning is concerned, the, the chrome plated bulk here just wipes off pretty much with a rag. Uh, it's extremely easy to clean. Um, and with the use of the, uh, the sinker suppressor, uh, it works excellent. I also have a second bolt carrier for, for this thing too that I'll use too. If I'm actually using the, uh, the suppressor, I'll actually swap this out for the Gemtech uh, bolt carrier that actually has the valve on it where you can switch from suppressed and unsuppressed. Um, if I'm just use, you know, shooting regular, I'll stick with uh, what's in it right now. So uh, you, know, you will see um, you know, me using that, uh, that same bolt carrier on, di on different rifles. Because uh, it's uh, when it comes to using a sound suppressor, that Gemtech carrier makes a major, major difference. Um, this rifle, uh, when I was back home in New York, I used to train with the um, RPD SWAT team. This was a rifle that I always used in all the training exercises that we did. Um, it uh, it just did it just did everything that I asked it to, um, and it continues to. Um, LMT makes excellent barrels. Uh, the receivers are nice and tight. Um, no machine, no machine marks. It's uh, you know, the only thing that is special really about this is the uh, front sight base that I had uh, custom, I had custom put on. Uh, other than that, everything is available uh, to be purchased uh, separately. Um, you know, the Manta rail protectors is something that I really do like, uh, especially when this thing gets hot. Uh, when you use suppressors and whatnot, um, you know, if you uh, are interested in any of the Manta products, uh, we do have a. a a code that you go into their website, you can get 20% uh, off of everything uh, on the Mansa webpage. Just uh, type in uh, code SAS20 uh, and you'll receive 20% discount on all uh, Mansa products. Um, they make uh, the rifle a lot easier to hold, uh, even under under bad conditions or like sweaty hands or mud. It gives you uh, something really good to hold on to. And these don't just protect the uh, rails, but they also protect you from heat. Uh, that's what these probably these protect you from heat and I will gladly say and, and truthfully say they protect your hand better than any other rail protector out there most of uh, the rail protectors that are out there are just that they protect the rails they don't do much for your hands um, you know the the material that uh, Manta uses uh, again Frank Michael won't tell me what it is uh, but uh, this this is used uh, in in many different industries uh, he also makes a suppressor sleeve which is basically the same material that slides over a sound suppressor and to sort of give you an idea how uh, well the uh, the Manta gear reacts to heat, um, when I first tested it, I had a sound suppressor on a on an M4, and I went through uh, three magazines as fast as I could pull the trigger. I gripped my hand onto the sound suppressor and held the gun up in a vertical position, and I was able to hold uh, the muzzle with my with a hand without a glove on it. That's how well the uh, the suppressor sleeve you know contains heat and protects your hands. Um, Another thing about the suppressor sleeves is too is uh, when they're on, they protect uh, your clothes. A lot of officers and SWAT team guys are when they train, um, they'll use uh, sound suppressors, and then by accident the uh, barrel will hit their leg, and it'll burn a hole in uh, some pretty expensive uh, tactical pants. Uh, by using uh, the suppressor sleeve that uh, is provided by our, or manufactured by Manta, uh, you eliminate that altogether. So I hope you're not too disappointed in what my choice was for. Uh, a bug out gun uh, but uh, you know sometimes simplicity uh, is really the way to go um, that's definitely not saying that there isn't plenty of other guns in my collection or ones that I I've worked with that uh, I wouldn't prefer just as much it's just uh, you know this uh, this one here uh, has everything I need uh, no more no less um, it's something that you can trust your life with 100% it's all military grade um, not really all that expensive you're probably looking at about uh, 1200 for the rifle you're probably looking at about uh, two or three hundred for the uh, for the Centurion rail you're probably looking at maybe a hundred bucks for the insight flashlight now the optic is rather expensive you're probably looking at well over or close to $1,500 or so for that um, the lower receiver is stock LMT 
The only thing that was added was the Myad grip uh, and the Ambi selector. Uh, and the upper receiver was is all LMT with the exception of the uh, the front sight base that was uh, was added on and drilled and pinned. Um, so everything here is very easily to get. You can get as an upgrade. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please click like and please subscribe. Thank you.